god, this guy. Holy shit, dude. I haven't heard about this guy since 2018. The thing about Fusi, he's an autistic piece of shit. Okay, maybe Fusi's not autistic, okay? I know this. He's manic, technically speaking. Um, but let's throw it all the way back to July of 2018. This is a time when YouTube was really shitting bricks at the time. This is a time where YouTubers were kind of like all over the fucking place because at the same time, the adpocalypse was going on. Uh, people were getting like screwed over because of YouTube's new algorithm at the time. And at this time as well, YouTube creators were taking a huge shift. Diss tracks were a major thing back in 2018. And for FusiTube, uh, this is where also I want to say really his problems start showing around on the internet. Like this is like kind of like for me at least uh, the start or like the middle of the start of the of, of his reign of terror all over YouTube. Because I remember on July of 2018 or within July of 2018, this dude through a fucking like concert for one song that he only ever fucking made like it was insane that he only threw you know uh, he threw a whole concert for one fucking song it was fucking dumb his song that he was going to perform there at the concert was a diss track against rice gum now again this was a time where a bunch of youtubers were dissing each other through basically their own cringy their own somewhat good okay but mostly cringy uh, diss tracks, but a lot of them were mostly cringy. A lot of them were also bad. Um, but ultimately, none of them really just made sense. They were all bullshit. But for Fousey Tube, he threw a whole fucking concert for one goddamn song. And also, on top of that, he lied about how so many fucking people in his imagination were gonna fucking be there at his concert. He fucking lied his dick off, bro, with that fucking bullshit ass concert. Uh, he said that Drake was gonna be there. He said, like, The Weeknd, Snoop Dogg, you know. I mean, here's the thing. He went from saying that so many, you know, ha said artists were gonna be there. And then, at one point, I remember there's also a clip of him saying straight up that, uh, uh, you know, it's gonna be fun because you don't know who's gonna pull up. And and I remember he was trying to get into, like, the TMZ. Or, no, at least, he, I think he had a TMZ interview because I guess he was gonna, like... You know, let TMZ and all of LA know that it was going to be like the biggest event of the summer or some shit like that. And, and, and it turns out, in long story short, it was the biggest fucking flop of the entire fucking summer of 2018. Oh yeah, you think you could throw fucking hard? I'll throw you fucking hard, bitch. And on top of it being the biggest flop of that summer, a lot of theories have been going around ever since that day. Or at least just in that, that second half of that fucking year. That Fousey actually um, called up a bomb threat. There was a whole bomb threat situation that happened at the concert. And the theory goes is that he straight up was the one who called the bomb threat. Just so the concert could be done with. They could go in and shut it all down. And this motherfucker, you know, after, you know, supposedly he called the bomb threat. Now, this is all allegedly. Okay, this is all allegedly. These are all accusations. But after everything was shut down, FusiTube was on top of a car and he started giving basically some sad ass monologue and this and that. He was like, I'm crying because I'm in fear. I'm crying because my fucking star wasn't tall. I'm crying because this shit fucking flopped and you motherfuckers didn't give me money. Right? But before I even got to do the event, before I even got to tell my story, you're making a documentary on it so you can post it after the fact. So if it flops, you can have the hot news on how Fousey fucked up and he should kill himself. Why? Now, before y'all give me shit about, oh, why the fuck are you making fun of a guy that's fucking manic? Why are you making fun of a guy, you know, that is going through a rough patch? Brother, this guy has been getting help ever since that year about the situation and probably even a little bit before then. And this guy recently... Okay, and that's enough about the 2018 situation. Let's jump to 2024, the last few weeks. FusiTube went on stream straight up saying that he was going to blow his fucking brains out on stream. I'm going to blow my fucking brains out, dog. I'm going to blow my fucking balls out, mother. And then, lo and behold, 
to no surprise, obviously Kick probably took that more than seriously because them motherfuckers literally banned his ass off of Kick, I believe the the very same day. Like he literally got banned uh, like a few hours after that fucking stream. And um, lo and behold, a few hours later, this motherfucker appears back on the internet. And he starts, you know, breaking down, he's crying, and this and that. And, I, and mind you, this guy is fucking 40 years old. That's why I get pissed at some of these creators, because, you know, I'm not saying that I'm the most mature myself, but I just know at that age, especially, like, the way my mental health, you know, is not that great, I probably want to stay off the internet and save myself the embarrassment, and also the piece of shit attitude that I have towards my own crew. And when I say my own crew, FoosyTube has a fucking tendency to literally fucking throw his crew under the fucking bus so goddamn hard. It's just so visibly embarrassing, bro. It's just embarrassing. And and here's the thing. I'm sure he probably told all these people, all these people that uh, work for him. Like, you know, off stream, he probably was like, you know, whatever I say, just don't take it personally. I'm fucking manic. I'm autistic as shit. You know, so don't take it personally, you know what I mean? I, I just, I'm, I'm in my, I'm in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I met Drake, but I never really met Drake, you feel me? And like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going through my, I'm going through the phases, you know what I'm saying? The nine moon phases, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Boosie literally goes from zero to a hundred real fucking quick. It's not even funny, dude. It's just so fucking sad. Cause he's like, again, he's 40 years old and he's still treating people like shit, bro. So then from Boosie straight up, um... You know, going from, what was it like, uh, saying he was going to blow his brains out to then, I think like a few days later, he literally disowned his family. Instead of checking on me, Muhammad texted me to say, Yusuf, just to let you know, me and mama are disowning you as family members. You are on your own. Every time I've messed up, mama, Muhammad and mama cussed me out and let me realize it. Anytime I did a Hollywood red carpet, a $100 million contract, anything successful, they didn't open their mouth and I begged them. I no longer need you guys in my life. I'm a Muslim. You guys, you guys put me on this earth, Baba, but now I'm 34, so I'm living my own life. So, Baba, this is the last you're ever going to see me. I live in Australia now. You know, and then he got on call with them saying that he was going to disappear and that they were never going to see him again and yada, yada, yada. And... I'm just like, bro, what is this guy doing? Like, no way that a 40-year-old man is acting like this. Now, I know, like, I sound like that fucking moron Jack Doherty because I know uh, Fousey slapped the shit out of that kid, which, in my opinion, was probably a little bit too much uh, for Fousey to be doing, especially at that age. But at the same time, Jack, you fucking deserve it. Especially with that broccoli-ass haircut that he has, he definitely fucking deserves it. I wonder whenever it comes to people like FouseyTube and Jack and even Neon, I just wonder, like, man, how do people like that last so long on YouTube or even being relatively famous, right? They're not even famous in my book. You just, you hear them doing stupid shit every once in a while or them having, like, outbursts and shit like that. Like, I, I just don't care about Jack or I don't care about Fousey in the slightest, dude, whatsoever. The only reason why Jack got fame was because he had an interview with um, uh, with Jake Paul or whatever. That's the only way I knew about that kid. That's the only way I knew. Neon, he just appeared on my fucking Twitter timeline slash X timeline. And Fousey, because he's autistic as shit. I will give this to Fousey though, okay? I'll give Fousey this, right? Fousey too has that resilience in him, right? Because over and over again, that dude has been either banned or just people don't pay attention to him. But he makes the fucking effort to get back into the spotlight. In my opinion, he doesn't deserve it, especially with the way he acts against his crew. I mean, recently I saw a video of him talking to his Australian crew. And I I, uh, I remember him like going up to his fucking crew's face and just straight up saying, When you start the fucking stream until 7 you didn't get here until 6 15 we were supposed to start this shit at 6 at fucking 6 motherfucker at fucking 6 6 6 6 the dog's number motherfucker i'm being unfair why am i being unfair i've done everything you've asked of me thus far how am i have you yes have i have you? you're really gonna Tell stand me. on that yes i'm really gonna stand on that i was supposed to start my stream at 6 p.m he didn't even get there until 6.15. Yeah. 
We didn't even start streaming till seven. Okay. You got no one at the event. I did it with my Instagram. Don't you dare look me in the eye on my live show and tell me you did everything. You didn't do shit. Understood. So fuck you, don't yes. There's so many video clips of this dude just straight up talking mad fucking disrespectfully to like a lot of his crew or the people around him. And it's just so fucking sad, dude. Because again, he's 40 years old. He needs help, man. Like, he just severely needs help. He just... No, not even that. He just needs to get off social media entirely, dude. Like, I really hope he stays banned from Quick from Kick forever. I just... He does not to be. He does not need to be back on Kick anytime soon. Now I know I talked a lot of shit on him right now, or talked a lot of bad, whatever you want to call it. But in the end, I just hope Boosie does get the help he needs. But I really don't want to see him back on the internet myself. I know that's fucked up to say because that's probably the only way he makes money. But he just doesn't need to be around YouTube anymore, or Kick, Twitch, or whatever. Wherever he you know interacts with the rest of the world on Twitter. Whatever, he just does not need to be back on the socials, okay? He does not need to be back on this fucking, you know, social media world, especially with his mental health being the way that it is, man. It's just so bad, so gnarly. One of these days, right? One of these days, it's going to get so bad, and I feel like he might do something really fucking wild on camera. I don't know what it is. I hope it's not what I'm thinking, but I can honestly see it happening. So, I mean, if... Foosie, you ever do see this shit? I do wish you the best of luck, but in reality, man, you need to stay off the socials for a hot minute. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this catches up to your speed about it, how I feel about Foosie. I genuinely do not like Foosie a lot, but at the same time, he hasn't done the worst at all. So, this is why I'm hoping that one day, you know, he gets help. Hopefully, he does the right things for himself and just gets off of social media entirely. And probably for the rest of his life, because he really just... This is a whole, like, this isn't a world for someone like him, honestly. This is just not, this is not for the, the mentally weak, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's crazy to say, but in reality, I mean, Fusi has shown it time and time again doing some shit like that. And again, the theory about that whole July 18th event, again, that he possibly called that bomb threat himself. So, who knows? Who fucking knows? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.